RCR Wireless News, my name's Sean Kinney and I'm here with Scott Willis of Zenwave at ConnectX in Charlotte, North Carolina to learn a little bit more about the dynamics that are shaping enterprise connectivity. So Scott, thanks for taking some time to speak with us this morning and uh, just to set the stage, help me understand some of the pain points that enterprise stakeholders are experiencing as it relates to the lack of quality in building coverage. That seems to be one of the one of the subjects that continues to come up is how how is uh, how is the enterprise feeling pain for in building connectivity? What are those pain points, and how can uh, companies and and ecosystem partners like ZenWave help solve that? And so clearly, the enterprise is beginning to feel pain points. The confusion, I think, really continues to exist around the education aspect of making the right choice. That seems to be uh, one of the things that we continue to evolve towards and focus on as we educate, as we consult, and try to bring solutions that help the enterprise uh, make decisions around what's the right in-building solution that solves their particular problem. And one of the uh, major technologies that is poised to potentially reshape this enterprise dynamic is uh, CBRS, the 3.5 gigahertz band. Recently, CBRS Alliance go through a bit of a rebranding initiative to push out Ongo as the new name for uh, products related to CBRS spectrum support. So what is the push for commercialization of Ongo products based on sharing spectrum portend for how Zenwave addresses the enterprise? Yeah, great. So as, as it relates to Ongo, right, we made our, our, our announcement yesterday where Zenwave has now introduced a, a small cell CBRS Ongo technology um, to the market. Uh, it's really intended and we're focused on bringing what we believe are market leading solutions to help solve the enterprise. Um, clearly private LTE is an opportunity in the market and we see as a great need to bring solutions that, that really will help the enterprise solve some of their in-building connectivity problems. So part of that announcement, we also announced that we've got three active pilots with Fortune 100 companies. Interestingly enough, it's, it's each of them are geographically spread out across the U.S. One's on, on the West Coast, one's in the Central, one's on the East Coast. Um, and their use cases are very different. And, and so we're, we're excited about the opportunity. We're excited about working with them on innovative solutions. But we're also at a stage where we're still helping them um, develop the use cases where they can optimize the need for private LTE to ultimately achieve that, um, that superior connectivity environment in building that will allow them to drive mission critical applications across their business environment. Clearly there's time and opportunity in the market to evolve before we get to a full commercial solution. You know that, that 3.5 band that these ongo devices are going to use, that's really valuable spectrum that you can do a lot with. So in terms of these use cases, can you maybe expound a little bit on what would be possible with that type of system? I mean, it's a lot more than just voice and data, right? It, it is. I mean, what, what we're seeing is, is the enterprise is demanding a, a private environment um, with, with really uh, a desire of having a superior connectivity layer that LTE offers over Wi-Fi. Um, it's creating an environment that they can control. It's creating an environment that um, um, they want to manage the security. They want to manage the users. They want to manage the applications that run across that private environment. And they want to be able to manage uh, the, 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 within their community of users who has access to those, those various mission critical applications. What we're seeing so far in, in the pilots is most of the use cases are driven towards efficiency for the enterprise. So I think we've got a long ways to go within the industry of really ultimately unleashing the entire set of use cases that ultimately will become available with, uh, with full deployment of 5G and ultimately the, the, the economic gain that IoT is gonna, gonna, gonna provide uh, uh, enterprise collectively as an industry. But what we're seeing is early discussions and early use cases are really driven around enterprise efficiency and the benefit they can gain. All right, and so uh, this is relatively nascent. There's still some FCC rulemaking that mm -hmm. needs to go on, but mm -hmm. as we move Ongo and CBRS from pilots more towards scaled commercialization, how do you see Zenwave's value proposition as differentiated from some of your market competitors that are also looking to get narrowly focused on this enterprise market? We're really approaching 
on go or or the the use of private the, the use of private LTE networks at the enterprise a, a, a little bit differently. With with the launch of our of our CBRS small cell, we intend to use that as the RF source and distribute that across our existing um, in-building platforms. So that's one. Two is uh, uh, it, 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 earlier in the year at Mobile World Congress, we launched our network management system. So we have an ambition, and uh, the enterprise is clearly indicating that that we want to offer an end-to-end -end managed solution. And then really the third element is, um, is getting uh, creative with business models that'll meet the needs of the enterprise. And what I mean by that is um, um, not all enterprises are looking at that in the same way. Some may be willing to spend the money and capitalize it and acquire the asset themselves. Others may not have that desire. They may be looking for partners who may be looking for more of an OPEX-based model, um, very consistent with how they look at IT today, where enterprise has gotten very comfortable with outsourcing even mission critical applications um, uh, to cloud-based technologies, if you will. And so we want to respond to that. And so part of our desire is creating different business models, different economic models that fit within the desires of each of the enterprises. And that's always important to us and we're driving towards delivering market-leading technologies with the most efficient total cost of ownership in the market. You know, that's a very important point that you, that you raised there and I want to circle back about it. Beyond just the technology, there's also a lot of nuance to how you can approach this from a business perspective. So maybe if I own an office building, I just want to partner with an integrator and a vendor, share spectrum, and then distribute that uh, coverage and capacity around my building. Maybe if I'm an industrial interest, I want to actually go out and bid on spectrum. You can do a lot of different things. There's a lot of flexibility. I guess that's why we've referred to this as the innovation band because it really does have a, a wide ranging applications across the whole ecosystem. It, it, it really does. And I think, you, I think you've zeroed in on, on not only the superior performance that private LTE is going to offer um, uh, cellular based over, over Wi-Fi, but it's also the innovation and creativity around all the use cases that you just described. When you think about um, uh, collectively all the various enterprises out there, all their needs are different, right? How they're going to leverage private LTE. Um, uh, today, as I stated earlier, it seems to be most of our use cases around efficiency within the organization, but eventually that's going to evolve. It's, gonna, it's going to evolve towards how do they get more competitive, right? How do they position themselves differently versus their competitors, right? How do they um, uh, innovate themselves, right, um, and differentiate themselves? So I think those use cases as collectively as an industry and an ecosystem of, of partners that are involved with this, um, as we learn more about it, as we, as we go through these pilots, as we talk more to the enterprise, I think the opportunities of how economically companies are going to benefit from this are really endless. Well, Scott, I really appreciate you taking the time to share your perspective on CBRS and these Ongo devices, and congratulations on the product launch. Right. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.